Don't forget to preheat your oven, hit bake, adjust, and start. Homemade Cheez-Its to go along with our tomato basil soup. Cheez-Its are a loved favorite in the grocery aisles, but you can make them at your very own home. And you checked out our setup just before. Really simple, a few different ingredients. All we're gonna have today is cheese. We're gonna use cheddar cheese. You can always use a cheese of your um, choice. So you can make pepper jack ones, you can make white cheddar ones, um, you can make a lot of Parmesan ones. So um, definitely some butter, some ice water, some flour, and salt. So we're gonna start with our stand mixer, okay? We're gonna drop the butter in there. We're using the paddle attachment, okay? And that connects, again, just by finding that little peg and twisting it on, make sure it's secure. And we are going to um, mix the cheese and the butter. And we're actually gonna kind of do this technique called creaming. So we wanna make sure that this comes together into one mixture. Once our cheese and butter has been mixed to kind of a one cohesive ball, we're gonna add in our salt and our flour. Make sure you lock the neck down when you use your mixer. This is gonna create a shaggy dough. So it's gonna look like a bunch of cheese pebbles in uh, flour. Now we're ready to drizzle in about two tablespoons of ice water. So I'm just gonna take my ice water here and just kind of add it slowly. What we wanna see is we wanna see this shaggy dough become one big mass, one big dough ball. So that was about one tablespoon. I'm not filling it all the way up quite. You don't wanna to add too much water. Remember, you can always add more, but it's really hard to go backwards. So, now my dough is starting to stick together and form one cohesive mass. That means I'm ready to roll it out. All right, we are ready to roll our Cheez-It dough out. So we wanna start by getting it all off of the paddle attachment there. And then I'm just going to bring it over to my countertop, okay? Now you wanna make sure that this isn't gonna to stick to your countertop. So you're gonna to wanna to grab a little bit of excess flour. Remember, we never wanna stick our hands into the flour canisters. Okay, so we wanna use a measuring tool. So I'm just gonna dust some flour down. I'm gonna start by kind of flattening it by hand, getting that flour all coated on each side. And then I'm gonna flour my rolling pin slightly. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my hands rub down my pin. Now, I'm gonna roll this out to about a quarter inch thickness, so it's gonna be pretty thin, okay? Whenever we're using our rolling pin, we normally wanna work from the center out. Center out. Make sure it's not sticking, so you wanna flour the side you're gonna flip it on. Excellent. Okay, and give it one more roll. And then I'm gonna cut these into my Cheez-It squares. To do that, I'm just gonna use my pizza cutter. And they do not have to be perfect because they're homemade Cheez-Its, so that's the best part about them. So I'm just gonna cut these into rows. And they are ready to go on my baking sheet. If you wanna make them look like real Cheez-Its, you could poke a little hole in the center. And we're ready to bake. I've got my Cheez-Its evenly spaced out. They're gonna rise up, but we still wanna make sure that they're spread out just enough so that they're not touching one another. This is gonna go in the oven for about 15 minutes. 15 minutes on the timer, but always remember that every oven can be different, so keep an eye on them while they're baking. You'll know that these are done when they puff up a little bit and they're a little bit golden brown. 
dip them in your soup, eat them as a snack. They're awesome. Can't wait for you guys to try them.